Be sure to watch this video till the end so you don't miss any of the key guidance provided. And if you have not done so already, do subscribe to the channel to learn how to live beyond limits. Well, welcome to another awesome night of Beyond Any Limit. I am thoroughly excited for another fabulous night with the Lord. Tonight, the topic tonight is how to prepare for 2022, getting ready for another new year. I'm going to give you three very important factors that are so important as you plan for a new year. The very first point is to, is to pray to understand God's plan for the new year. Pray and ask God in 2021 what His plans are for your life in 2022. In Jeremiah 29 verse um, 11, the Lord says about you that His thoughts towards you, His plans towards you are good plans, right? He says His thoughts towards you, all right, are good. And His plans towards you are good. His plans towards you are to bring you to a good place because He has a good plan and a good purpose for your life. So you have to understand that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And a major thing that you should be doing now in 2021 is asking God what his good plans are for you for 2022. You must understand that you're in partnership with God. You are in such tight partnership with God. God has a great plan for your life. If you spend time and ask him for it, he will speak to you about your life. He will reveal exactly what he wants, what he has in store for you in 2022. And the second part is, as you're receiving and seeing what God is saying about 2022, you must understand that in anything God tells you about his plans, it's not all up to God. What am I saying? As you're hearing what God is saying about you for 2022, you must understand the part you have to play in bringing the, in, in God's plan to come to pass. You know, if God says that he wants you to uh, increase in your, if he wants you to advance in your career, he wants you to ad, advance in your business, or he wants you to grow in certain relationships, or he wants you to build certain things, whatever it is, it's so important that you understand the part God plays and the part you play. Remember I said, your walk with God as a Christian is a partnership, right? And a partnership always involves two people. And in any good partnership, you must understand what each, each, each party is going to play in the plans of that union to come to pass. When God says, I want you to, to do this, I want you, to, I want this to happen. It, it's so important as you're, as you're receiving the plans for the year, that you understand the part you have to play and the part God has to play. Such an important second point. And the third important point that you must understand as you prepare for 2022 is have a sense of timing. Any plan, any set of goals, that must be, you must have a sense of timing. And one of the things that God does, if you spend time asking Him for it, ask Him to have an understanding of timing. Why is this important? Faith, the living a life of faith is not a life of assumptions. You cannot live a life of faith without, without, no, without the knowledge of God's will. You can't live a life of faith without, without the understanding of what God is saying. And, and as you're praying and spending time with God, you want to have a sense of what God is saying, not just about what He wants to do, but a sense of His timing as well. It allows you to prepare and look ahead and position your heart for what God is saying for 2022. And I want to say that the life of Abraham is, is a classic example that actually highlights the three points I've said, I've shared with you tonight. First, the understanding of what God's plan is. Second, the knowledge of the part that you play in, the, in God's plan coming to pass. 
And third, the understanding of timing. From the point of when God appears to Abraham and when the, the, the God's plan was eventually fulfilled was 25 years. Do you know why there was such a delay? Because Abraham did not understand at the time God's plans. Abraham did not fully um, embrace God's plans. And what Abraham did as the sequence of, of his life through the different stages of his life, Abraham started to, to move into unbelief. Abraham started to move into disobedience and in, in in not following the path that God had for him. Abraham went ahead of God and had a son with his maid. And that was outside of God's plan. And that was outside of the course God had for him. Why is this important? If you don't understand what God is saying, you can't properly follow his instructions. If you don't fully embrace what God is saying to you, you're not going to follow him and obey him. Whenever God gives you a word, God is committed to bringing his, his, his plans to pass. But one of the things that you will notice in the life of Abraham, God will not compromise his principles and God will not compromise his word. And because Abraham did not follow and trust God as he should have, he encountered a lot of delays. Can you imagine receiving a word from the Lord at 75 and then having the word come to pass at a hundred? 25 years is too expensive. I really believe that God tells you he will do anything. With God, nothing is impossible. But one of the important parts in, in praying ahead and asking God for his plan is coming to perfect alignment. And what is alignment? Alignment will only happen with an understanding of what God is saying, an understanding of what God wants you to do in alignment with, with his word, right? And in alignment with also God's timing. I also want you to understand that the delay of 25 years was not just time that was lost. Abraham also encountered a lot of heartache. When he had the, when he had Ishmael, he had Ishmael with his maid. Having Ishmael, right, with his maid. One of the things that you'll notice is that Abraham, when you go back and look at the story of Abraham, was that Abraham's wife, Sarah, and his maid started having conflict. Anytime you move outside of God's will, you will always encounter challenges. God is only committed when you follow him. God is only committed when you obey him. And it is going to be very hard to obey God if you don't understand what he's saying. As you look ahead for 2022, you should have a sense of progress, a sense of moving up, a sense of increase, and ask God how that, what that looks like. Spend time now preparing. Anyone who does not prepare, what they're doing is telling themselves that they're getting ready to fail. Anytime you get embark on a journey and you don't have a map, you will waste time. You could get lost. And time is too expensive, right? As you pray for 2022 and you receive the vision for 2022, you must believe that everything God tells you about 2022, He is able, He is faithful, and He's committed to you to bring His plans to pass. And you also must understand timing. Timing is so important. Timing is so important because what timing does and why is your understanding of timing important? One of the things that you must engage in is patience. As you begin any journey, the, the journey from point A to point B takes time, right? As you go from point A to point B, you, you, you need to engage patience. It takes time to go from point A to point B. So as you look ahead for into 2022, you must prepare your heart, right? And understanding the, 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 the factor of time. For everything God says about your life, your family, your business, your career, you must, as you look ahead and you plan, you must also understand that everything will fall in place as God has promised in time, in time. 
right? And timing allows you to be patient. It allows you to do your part and trust God for the rest. And it's such an important thing because as Abraham was walking with God, what caused Abraham to, to step into unbelief, to have Ishmael? And Ishmael was Abraham having his son with his maid. Ishmael was not God's will for Abraham's life. Ishmael was Abraham's impatience with time. Ishmael was Abraham's lack of patience. Because if Abraham really believed that God was able to bring Isaac, he would have been patient, walking in time, doing what he knew to do, but trusting that God was able to bring Isaac as he promised. How do you prepare for 2022? I'm gonna give you a couple of very practical things to start doing. The first thing that you must do First, first important thing is you must take stock of 2021 as you look ahead for 2022. Why is this important? You must take stock of your life because what enables you to, to, to have a better 2022 is to look at 2021. Where were you fruitful? Where did you have challenges, right? Where, where did you, um, where did you encounter difficulties? So as you look at 2021, and you look at areas where you could have done better, areas where you, you could have functioned differently, whether it's in your marriage, whether it's in your career, whether it's in your finances, challenges you encountered, some mistakes you may have made, to assess them. Because one of the things that you want to do is course correct in 2021, before you get into 2022. Revisit God's word in every area where you encounter challenges. Do that now in 2021. Success is not all up to God. Your life is a partnership of you and God, working together for his word to come to pass. God gives you his plan. God gives you his vision, but God works his plans through you. And let me tell you this, you will never be able to function beyond the level of your revelation. And you will never be able to go beyond the, le the, the level of your character. Your character, your attitude, your revelation, all these things are so important. Your revelation allows you, of God's will, allows you to really see and understand what God is saying. Your character allows you to be tough when tough times come. Tough times come to everybody, even people of faith, even people in God's kingdom. That God gives you a word does not immune you from challenges. The guarantee that God gives you is that even if the storms come, he has given you his word. He has given you his nature. He ha you have the Holy Spirit to overcome and soar through the storms. So one of the things you must do now in 2021, assess yourself, check yourself. I think you must, I think it's very unwise to not have, to not have an, an, a, a very honest assessment of where you may need to spend time studying to grow, to change. You know, there should not be an area, a character flaw that you keep excusing and explaining away. Any character flaw, whether it's laziness, procrastination, maybe areas of unbelief, impatience, will be a hindrance. Let me give you this as a demonstration. When God gives you his plan, God gives you his vision, his plan. God's plans are always big. They're always great and big. God's plans are always big. But the challenge is that God does his plans through you. If you still have character issues, if you still have areas of weaknesses, your capacity to receive God's plan is going to be limited right your capacity to receive god's plan is going to be compromised and that's why if you have areas of unbelief what's unbelief 
When God is speaking big, you are, you are thinking small. When God is declaring great things, you are thinking and believing little. Take time in 2021 to assess yourself. Are there issues that need to be addressed? Are there character issues? Is, are, is, is, is there, are there areas of fear? Are there areas of impatience? Are there areas of procrastination? You know, I really believe that in, in, in this thing, in a thing called capacity planning. You know, when you're believing for big, declaring big, you must be ready to carry the big, right? You don't take a gallon of water and put it in a little bottle, right? If you had a gallon of water, your, your capacity to receive the, the amount of water must be expanded. So spend time. And the, the major way for capacity planning is in God's word. In any area where you identify areas where you need to improve, spend time in 2021 with the Holy Ghost to study, right? To, to grow in those areas. So ask God for the goals for 2022. And the reason why it's important to, to really spend time with God, with your goals is that God knows where you are. This is this is why this point is so important. Remember I said, God gives you his plan and God's plans will always be great. God's plans will always be huge. But you wanna spend time with God as you're preparing for 2022 because if there are areas of challenges, God will help you as you are, as, as you are as you are focusing and zeroing in on the on the goals to make sure that you're able to if you are if you have areas where there are weaknesses where god is saying i want you to increase to this and in 2021 you, you've just been uh in, in an area of being stagnant where you're where you've been seeing very little if you're not specific you don't know how to go from here to here you know if, if i say i i want to spend uh, at least three times a day, sorry, three times a month with my husband. That's specific, right? So in 2021, if I'm only spending five minutes, right? I now know if I'm gonna go from five minutes to three times a week, I know what it looks like. It's so important that you're specific because if you're specific, you know what it means to go from here to here. So in 2022, in 2021, Set those goals and be specific. Ask the Lord, amen, for his guidance. I'm going to read this verse. It's so important. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, trust in the Lord, right? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, right? And do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, right? So as you are looking ahead for to 2022, you must rely on God. Get your goals from the Lord. Trust Him and lean on Him. You don't want to go with your own understanding, right? I think it's so important for you to understand that good planning, effective planning must, must begin with the Lord. Trust in Him. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean on your own wisdom, amen? Let God guide you. Let God set the goals for you, amen? Identify your goals for 2022. And after God has given you his plan, his blueprint for your life, amen? You wanna actually begin in 2021. The again, major thing that you should do now is to seek counsel in 2022, in 2021, in the areas where you encounter difficulty. One of the things a wise man does, he identifies areas where he needs help. If you are having areas where you are encountering difficulties, you must in 2021 identify areas where you may need guidance. You may need instruction. All right. I'm going to go through, through a few words, uh, verses of scripture to kind of lay out some of what I am sharing with you tonight. Proverbs chapter 15, write this down. Uh, verse 22, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22 says, without counsel, plans fail, but with many advisors, they succeed, right? 
This verse cautions you to seek counsel from people who are seasoned, who are stronger in the areas where you are having difficulty. If you're having issues in your marriage, find somebody who is wise in marriage and ask them for counsel. If you have some difficulties in your finances, look for somebody who is wise financially. But do that now in 2021. Arm yourself with information. Arm yourself with understanding. Arm yourself with knowledge. Okay? All right. And I, I want to also give you one verse that's important. Luke chapter 14, verse 28. Luke chapter 14, verse 28 says, For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? I'll read this verse again. Luke chapter 14, verse 28 says, For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it. This is what this verse is saying to you tonight. This verse ca cautions you to, to have an honest assessment of where you are, right? If, you, if you're trying to, if you're looking ahead for progress in your finances, right? Right? It will cost you. If you're trying to uh, go from not saving to be able to save, it will cost you, right? If you're currently overspending, it will cost you adjusting. Maybe if you're one who likes to buy everything you see, it will cost you saying no to some things, right? If you're someone who wants to spend more time with your spouse, it will cost you making a sacrifice of not running off doing other things when you, when you could use that time to be with your spouse. So there are so many examples I could come up with, but the main point I want you to understand is that verse is saying, Anyone who desires to accomplish anything must first take stock, right? I want you to build a house. For you, it could be you want to build your career. For you, it could be you want to build your marriage. For you, you want to build your finances. You want to increase in a particular area. In 2021, take stock. This goal that I have of increasing my finances, what will it take? This goal of increase in my career, what will it take? It may require further education. It may require further study. But you must take stock and say, am I willing to pay to pay the to, to put in the investment? As I as I wrap up my message tonight, I want to just make a couple of very simple points. As you spend time with God. Uh, uh, getting the goals for 2022. Be very clear about what God is saying to you. Write things down. Take a pen. Write what God says to you. Right? And spend time with God. Do you know that you can ask God questions? Too many people get the goal, but they don't spend time asking God questions. Ask God for clarity. Ask God for understanding. That's why you have the Holy Spirit. Spend time in 2021. Ask God for clarity. Ask Him for understanding. Remember I said, it's important that you understand you have wisdom for 2022, right? You have knowledge and understanding in every area God is speaking to you. Amen. And be honest with yourself. I said that. Make all the adjustments in 2021 so you are ready for 2022 and have an action plan and ensure that your action plan is specific. You have targets, right? You want to increase in your finances. What does that look like? You want to increase in your marriage. What does that look like? You want to do well in your health. What does that look like? Be specific. I want to actually share one final verse and I will end my time with you tonight. And the verse comes from Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse one to three. I'll go ahead and read it. Habakkuk chapter two, verse one to three. And this verse says, I will climb up to my watchtower and stand at my guard post. Then I will wait. I will wait to see what the Lord says and how he will answer my complaint. Then the Lord said to me, write my answer plainly on tablets. So all the translators say, write the vision. 
write my answer plainly on tablet so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. God's word to you tonight, write down the vision, make it plain. Write down the vision for 2022, right? Stand at the watchtower and standing at your watchtower is a place of prayer. Spend time in prayer. Spend time with God in the place of prayer. Ask God for the vision for 2022. Write down the vision. Write it down, right? And the Lord says to you, when you write it down, right? He says, and be patient. It will come to pass. The vision for 2022 will not be delayed. I hope you've been blessed. 2022 is a great year. It's an awesome year. But I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you. Prepare for a great year by what you do in 2021. I'm going to go ahead and pray for you now. You're saying to me, I've shared for a while now. You've not met the Lord. You've not invited the Lord into your heart. It is so important that you settle this issue tonight. If you are not born again, you cannot end 2021 to begin a new year without making the Lord the Lord of your life. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever will believe this message should not perish, but have eternal life. Would you like to receive the Lord into your heart? Just say this short prayer. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I acknowledge that you are Lord. I believe with all of my heart that God raised you from the dead. Tonight, I receive the gift of eternal life. I make you the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. And you want me to pray for you for 2022? I'll go ahead and pray for you now. But I declare peace over my friend who is watching tonight. Grace for 2022. You want me to pray for direction? I ask for direction for my friend for 2022. I ask for clarity for those who need to make decisions about 2022. I ask for wisdom, for understanding. And those who are struggling with so many issues, I ask for grace, divine intervention in every area. I speak over your life, grace, God's grace, God's favor, God's help will be manifested in your life in an awesome way. Receive the grace of God. Receive the grace of God. Receive the peace of God in every area of your life. Peace means nothing missing, nothing broken. I declare over you that 2020, 2022 is a year of greatness, a year of a great alignment. You are aligning with God's will for your life. I want to just say to you that God loves you. I want to say that God has a plan for you, but stay strong in God's word and stay focused on God's word and his plans for you. Thank you for joining in with me for another awesome night of Beyond Any Limit. Join me next week for yet another awesome episode. God bless you. Good night.